Hey folks, what's going on? It's Pastor Hassan. Happy Friday morning to you. Hope you had a good week so far. And uh, I just wanted to offer a quick bit of encouragement from the scripture uh, for today and as we head into the weekend. And so I just wanted to look at uh, a few verses from the book of Philemon, this letter that, that Paul writes to this brother in Christ. And from the encouragement that Paul gives to Philemon, I wanted to try to draw some encouragement uh, for us. So here's what God's word says there in Philemon, beginning at verse 1, and I'll read down to verse 7. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our beloved fellow worker, and Aphia, our sister, and Archippus, our fellow soldier, and the church in your house. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God always when I remember you in my prayers, because I hear of your love and of the faith that you have toward the Lord Jesus and for all the saints. And I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. For I have derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. And so a couple of things that I wanted to highlight, what we notice from what Paul says to Philemon. Number one, Paul is thankful to Philemon because of Philemon's faith. So because of the grace of God at work in Philemon and, and the evidence of his faith, um, Paul is thankful for that. So he says, I, I thank God um, for the, the faith that you have towards the Lord Jesus Christ and the love that you have towards the Lord Jesus Christ. But not only that, for the love that you have for all the saints. And so that's something that should mark every single one of us as believers. Faith in Jesus, love towards him, and a love for his people. And so I just wanted to, to challenge you, number one, are you that type of believer that, that is, is growing and increasing in love for the Lord and love for your brothers and sisters in Christ. And then number two, connected to that, are you thankful for the faith of other brothers and sisters in Christ? Have you expressed that to them? Like that's a, that's a simple means of encouragement. Like just to simply say to another brother or sister in Christ, like I, I'm, I'm encouraged by your faith. I see evidence of the Lord at work in you and I'm thankful for that. And then the next thing that we notice is that Paul speaks of Philemon's sharing of his faith. In verse eight, he says, and I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective or excuse me, verse 6, and I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. Verse 7, for I've derived much joy and comfort from your love, my brother, because, of the, because the hearts of the saints have been refreshed through you. And so here's the picture. Philemon's faith and, and, and love, or his faith, first and foremost, is, is not something that's exclusively for him. Like Paul speaks of the sharing of his faith. And he, he's praying that, that as Philemon is, is fellowshipping with his brothers and sisters in Christ, that, that his faith would actually rub off on them. And so that they would grow and that they would come to know and appreciate what it is that they have in Christ. Is your faith that kind of faith? It's not just encouraging for you, but, but it's a source of encouragement and refreshment for others. He speaks in the end of how Philemon has refreshed the hearts of the saints, like by his presence, by his words and, and things of that nature. So imagine it like this, like if you were out somewhere on a hot sunny day and you got yourself a nice little canopy and you got a little table set up with some ice cold drinks and maybe a little battery powered fan and you're, you're just like soaking up all that refreshment. Meanwhile, you got people all around you just sweating and suffering and struggling. Like it's one thing for you to enjoy that little canopy and your drinks and your little fan, um, but it's something completely different if you're actually inviting people into that. Hey, I, I, I don't just personally want to be refreshed 
and and rejuvenated and encouraged I, I i want i want to invite others into that is your faith of that kind like are you the kind of believer who is is regularly um doing that for your brothers and sisters in Christ. And so that that's my, my challenge to you, to think along those lines. Number one, are you thankful for the faith of brothers and sisters in Christ, brothers and sisters who have been an encouragement to you, help you to, to know and appreciate what it is that we have in Christ? If you are, express that to them. Like tell them, I, I thank God for you, brother. I thank God for you, sister, for, for your encouragement. Praise God. And then secondly, are you the type of believer who's encouraging and, and refreshing to those around you? Are, are others refreshed by your presence? Are others growing um, by, by the sharing of your faith as you fellowship with them and they see your faith and they, they hear it from your lips and they, they, they see evidence of it in your life? And so I would encourage you, brothers and sisters, today uh, to be thinking about those things, thinking even in small ways of how you can be an encouragement to somebody else, how you can ex just simply express thankfulness for ways that they've encouraged you in the past. And um, yeah, let, let's keep looking out for one another and keep looking to the Lord. And and the next couple of days, I'll probably see you, albeit uh, virtually. But uh, in the meantime, y'all take care and have a great day today. Love y'all and God bless.